guys welcome back welcome back to Jax and Nina channel guys this is boy Jax guys I know it's a different different um, background it's keep changing but this one was merely changed because Nina gave birth so therefore I have to be in the living room and because she had a c-section so um, my, we have a young daughter as well so therefore here when I'm editing when I'm filming I can still look after my young daughter while, while Nina's upstairs with uh, our new daughter is a baby girl guys thank you thank you for your, your say congratulations Jax I know I keep hearing it thank you thank you thank you guys happy Sunday happy Sunday yo and guys we're gonna do this we are doing I hope you enjoy your um your weekend so far i know in the uk has been hot uh today it doesn't it doesn't look that hot but this is welcome to my living room guys welcome to our living room yeah i know it's beautiful right it's simple yeah but anyway guys today we're back with friends season three episode three and four guys guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet show some love to us by subscribing and comment below if you love what we do and also do look forward to every friday we will have a movie night you will see me or or me and you know but every friday should be every night movie night with jackson you know. but in the meantime guys just subscribe to the channel and let's do this let's do this Season three, episode three and four. Let's go. Hey, oh, oh, his job is getting it. Don't worry, me. What kind of nonsense was that, bro? See, Joe, that's why your parents told you not to jump on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be this way. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, look at me. I'm making jam. What the hell? Four o'clock this morning. Does she still got a job yet? Where'd you get fruit at four in the morning? Right. Docs. Hey, bet you didn't know you can get it wholesale. I didn't know there were docs. <laughs> I love wholesale. Hey, hey. Oh, oh wow. Is it broken? No. I'm gonna wear this thing for a couple. Did you tell the doctor you did it jumping up and down on your bed? <laughs> Kid. Had a whole story worked out, but then uh Try to snitch. Sold me out. Snitch into this. I think the doctor was gonna buy that it just fell out of the socket. <laughs> what is this? I thought we'd do something else. Really? In mind of mine, I guess. <laughs> Monica's making jam. Whoa, jam? I love jam. Hey, how come we never have jam at our place? Because the kids need new shoes. <laughs> Sick and tired of being depressed about Richard. I needed a plan. Need a job. Over my man. What's the opposite of man? Jam. Get a job. Oh, it's way too hot. This will just be my. Wow. Best. Okay. Wait, who's that creepy man behind my girl Phoebe, man? By the way, some of you think that I don't like, I don't have love for Phoebs. I do have love for Phoebs. Phoebe just, you know, those spiritual people just free and spiritual, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna issue with that because probably I'm one of them. So it's like she cracks me up. That's all. That is all, guys. I do have love for all, all of the characters, actually. All the Chandler, I don't have Chandler. I don't have, you know, this joke sometimes is, you know, it's not a joke, but you make it as if it's a joke. Anyway, let's get back to this. Are you, are you gonna give me flower or what? Did you even pay for it? Um, that's it, no. Hey, you, J. Crew guy. Yeah, why have you been following me? Yeah. Week long, everywhere I look, there's you. you. Wouldn't return my calls, you sent back my letters. What? What? Chance, Ursula, please. Oh, uh, oh, a twin sister. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, cause you want Ursula and I'm Phoebe. Twin sisters. That's great. Stalking the wrong woman. Yeah, dumbass. Dingus. Uh, you're not a dingus. I just, I want, want, want. Fibs. I didn't used to be like this. Do not give him much I love. Sister, I was like this normal guy who sold beepers and cellular phones. It's not your fault, you know? I mean, this is just, this is what she does to guys, okay? It, she does that. She's good at it as well. Wait, you know what? I got a little story. I didn't finish talking. In your high school, I went through this period where I thought I was a witch. And... <laughs> 
There was this guidance counselor who said something to me that I think will help you a lot. Not a witch, you're just an average student. So, nah, Not really. explain properly, you know. So all um, the guys men know. Okay, cool, we can do that. I mean, you just, you seem like a, a really nice guy. Fabes, careful now. So hard on yourself, okay? Oh no, that touch, right. that touch. I know you're right. And thanks for being so nice. So touching him, he's gonna be obsessed with you now. So what? Do you want to get a cup of coffee? Oh no. Yeah, okay. Okay. Faves. God, you're still doing the same thing now. Okay, you don't have to walk behind me anymore. Sorry. Yeah, the whole old habit. Mom? Mom? Wow, she actually did it. Gone for more jars. Back later, Monica Geller. Wait a minute. Look. Free home. Look, look. What, what, what? It's an empty apartment. <laughs> All alone in an empty apartment. Honey, come on, I have to be at work in like 10 minutes and oh. Well, it's not like I'm employee of the year or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Do I look fat? Yeah, just say yes. Okay, I accept that. When Janice asked me and I said no, she took that to mean that I was calling her a cow. You can't okay, say to a woman, though. Walk us through it, honey. Walk us through it. Okay, well, Janice said, uh, hi, do I look fat today? I, I looked at her. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. <laughs> you looked at her? <laughs> that was. Okay. I'm a chill, man. Look. Mm. <laughs> you just answer. It's like a reflex. Do I look fat? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is she prettier than I am? No. The size matter. No. And it works both ways. <laughs> okay, so you both just know this stuff? You know, after about 30 or 40 fights, you kind of catch on. Yeah, but this time. It's coming back from a trip, and she gives you two options. I don't trust this conversation, one, Ross. She'll take Sorry. a cab home from the airport, or option number two, you can meet her at baggage claim. That's easy, baggage claim. Eh, wrong. Now you're single. <laughs> Actually, secret option number three. You meet her at the gate. That way she knows you love her. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is good. No, 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 stop there. Janice likes to cuddle at night, mm. which, you know, I'm all, but, uh, you know, when you want to go to sleep, you want some space. So, uh, you know, how do I tell her that without accidentally calling her fat or something? She's not fat, though. Yeah, I'm sorry, we can't help you there because we're cuddly sleepers. Mm. Ross don't like it. I'm late for work. Oh. All right, are you guys going to come down? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm right behind you. Then. Okay, good luck, champ. Be careful. Don't bye, sweetie. Bye, honey. Mwah. Okay, the sleeping thing. The there switch up is will. Uses, but there is something you can do. Uh, I thought you guys were cuddly sleeping. No. <laughs> Every, no I'm dumb. Not but, cuddly, yay. not me, just her. I'm like you, I need the room. <clears throat> okay, come here. Okay, you're in bed. Yeah. I'm gonna use the cushion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's over on your side, cuddling. Now you wait for her to drift off. Yeah. And then you hug her and roll. <laughs> over. Oh, man. I didn't get that. I didn't. I didn't copy these tips. Roll away. I'm, I'm like, my arm hurts. Her. <laughs> Roll oh, for you. Okay, the old hug and roll. Yep. Okay, one question. Shoot. You're pretending the pillow's a girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, you don't get that. Your mom would drop you off at the movies with jar jam. And... What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Hi. Hey, Phoebe. Hey. hey. Oh. You know that guy who's been following me? I talked to him today. You talked to him? Are you crazy? Okay, first, I'm not crazy, and second, say it. Don't spray it. <laughs> His name is Malcolm, and he wasn't following me. I mean, he was, but just because he thought I was Ursula. Ugh. Yeah. That's why. That's why he couldn't just come up and talk to me. Okay. It's a restraining order. And you give him access to you. Not feeling better about Malcolm. No, 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 no. He's not like a kook. No, he's just this like passionate, incredibly romantic guy that just. Romantic, really? You know, and we just get along really well, and he is so cute. Oh my God, you've got a crush on your sister stalker. Just can't yeah. Help him. You know, get de Ursulaized. Why are women feel they get help, guys? I'm a stalker. I mean. They ask for the news, not the weather. <laughs> oh no! More jam. Joey? 
This is for you. It's blackberry currant. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Joe, I gotta ask. The girl from the Xerox place, buck naked, or or a big tub of jam? Put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time with that. That's my last batch. No more jam? Well, what happened to your jam plan? I figured out I need to charge 17 bucks a jar just to break even. So I've got a new plan now. Babies. Well, you're gonna need much bigger jars. <laughs> I'm talking about me having a baby. What? Are you serious? The great thing about the jam plan was I was taking control of my life. So I asked myself, what is the most important thing to me in the world? And that's when I came up with the baby plan. Really? Aren't you forgetting something? You don't have any man. What, what, is, uh, what is that guy's name? Dad? It took me 28 years to find one man that I want to spend my life. If I have to wait another 28 years, then I'll be 56 before I can have a baby. And that's just stupid. That's what's stupid? And notice, Brian? I don't need an actual man. Just a couple of his best swimmers. Oh, okay. Places that you can go to get that stuff. Down to the docks again? <laughs> the best. <laughs> oh, and that's nice painting. He's going to do it. Now. Night, night, bing a ling. Bing a bing a Night, night. Janice. Janice. <laughs> Look at all that room on her side. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. You're in the relationship now. Hug and roll time. Hug and roll. I'm hugging. You're rolling and. Bingo. Yeah, except for this arm. <laughs> Stuck arm. Stuck up, stuck off. <laughs> Ocean, quick like a cat, quick like a cat. And one, two, two, three, three. <laughs> oh, 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 no. You're doing great, you know, real strong, going strong. Keep going. These are my night vision goggles. Oh, oh yeah, a, a military guy. And these are Mad Libs. They're just for fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you keep that one, man. Oh. This is the log I kept recording her every movement. You want to hear something from it? Um, not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit. Oh, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> she is really nice to me, even though I'm such a loser. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you are. Walking home, I thought about her a lot. Good. <laughs> Literally, that's it. I was thinking what it'd be like to kiss you. Really? No. Oh. That was a moment to get a kiss. And I said now so that maybe I could kiss you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought she'd enjoy that, no? No, no, it's all right. I just had a jar of mustard. <laughs> hey, sperm donor number 03815. Come on down. 6'2", 170 pounds, and he describes himself as a male Gina Davis. You can't do this, Mom. All right, if you do this, I'm, I'm going to... I'm, I'm You're going to what? I'm going to... Tell mom. <laughs> Chicken head. He's right. I love you, but you're crazy. crazy. What? Why? Why is this crazy? Ideal way to do oh, something. It's not the Lips way moving, way. still talking. Ooh. Be ideal, but I'm so ready. No, I, I see the way Ben looks at you. It, it makes me ache, you know? Oh, wow. Check it out. Jam crackers. There we go. <laughs> That's another kid. All right, how's this? Don't even mind him. 27. Italian American guy, born in Queens. Wow, big family. Seven sisters. Boy. <laughs> did you put it in play? Under personal comments, New York Knicks rule. Yeah, Knicks rule. This is you. All right. Yeah. When did you go to a sperm bank? Well, right oh, it's a sex study down at NYU. Hey, remember that sweater I gave you for your birthday? And that's how you bought it? <laughs> you feel what? <laughs> oh, that's what I was wearing when I donated. I'm kind of surprised there's any of my boys left. Honey, it is pretty competitive. I mean, I've got an actual rocket scientist here. Call this place and get him to put my Days of Our Lives gig on here. <laughs> Puppy up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> How's the maniac? Uh, How's the maniac? Yummy. We did a little kissing. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? He's not into that stuff anymore. He quit for me. That's never gonna happen. Has been obsessed with your sister for yeah. God knows how long, okay? You don't just give up something like no, that. No, you don't. Look, he gave me his night vision goggles and everything. So. Taking the word of a guy who has night vision goggles? 
<laughs> he's not still following her. You think he's still following her? Yep. Phoebes, wake up and smell the restraining order. What are you saying I should do? I think that if you really like this guy, just trust him. Thank you. Wait, what? Or you could follow him and see where he goes. Oh, yeah. that's what I would do. Forget mine. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely what Monica, Monica would do. Because she's a good traffic. Crazy Chandler, he spun me off the bed. Spinning, that sounds like fun. Uh oh. oh. She's going to tell. She's going to tell. <laughs> she's going to tell. Him. No, you know, he was just trying a Ross's hug and roll thing. I, f I knew it. Ross is what? You know, like where he hugs you and then he kind of rolls you away and oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he did. Oh my god, he's neat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's good at it. Phoebe? Yes? Yes. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. oh, I was just here looking for my, um, my part of an old sandwich. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're following me? Yeah. Um, perhaps. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just afraid that you were still hung up on my sister. You can soak. Can't believe you don't trust me. <laughs> oh, well, what do you know? There goes my identical twin sister. Looking along, looking like me. This is just like a freakish coincidence, or did you know that she takes this train? I'm sorry. I tried to stop, but I couldn't. It's so pathetic. So, yeah, you are. No, no. My fault. Oh, God. Because I made you quit cold turkey. I mean, I can't date you anymore because you're, you know, wow. <laughs> but I will definitely, definitely help you get over my sister. How? Stalk me for a while. Huh? Yeah, and, and, and I'll be like an Ursula pack. I don't know. Yeah, just, okay, look, I'm going. Behind the pillar. Ooh, which way am I going to go? <laughs> Where are you going? To the bank. Sperm or regular? Sperm. So you're really doing it, huh? Oh, yeah. Picked a guy. Three, seven, one, three, five. Can she even give birth, though? Oh. Not every per people Mount can Aaron, give birth. Three nice. No kidding. I, I figured you would have picked a blonde guy. I don't know. I, I always pictured you ending up with one of those tall, smart blonde guys named like Hoyt. It's a name. Yeah. I saw you in this, you know, this great house with a big pool. He's got the body for it. Huh? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, you guys have one of those signs that says, we don't swim in your toilet, so don't pee in our pool, you know? And you have these three great kids. Two girls and a boy. Oh, wow. They're making up story now, huh? Around on the deck, and, and then Holy wraps this big towel around all three of them. Sure. Uh oh. But hey, you know, this way sounds good too. Wow, this guy's an astronaut? <laughs> that would have been cool for like a day. <laughs> we see you, we see you the hug, man. We see you the hug, bro. I called the sperm bank today. They haven't sold a single unit of Tribbiani. Nobody wants my product. <laughs> look, look at Rachel. I can't believe this. <laughs> Maybe if they met me in person. Yeah. With that face. Thing in your oh. yeah. It's gonna eat it, right? Get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh. Hmm. Jan, can I, uh, could I talk to you for a second? Sure, what's up? Uh, this one, uh, one additional relationship thought. <laughs> I was gonna oh, smack no. the Uh, women talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, people, everybody, welcome to Amazing Discovery! Uh. Guys, please not watch this, what else? The refrigerator, get a nice glass of milk, put these dark. You said it, Mike. I don't. Oh, oh. There's gotta be a better way. And there is, Kevin. No way. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Revolutionary new product that guarantees you'll never have to open up milk cartons again. Milkmaster 2000. Tree. You're flinging, flinging right, I am. First time he's never used this product before. You're gonna see how easy this is to do. Go ahead. Good mess up. This works in any milk carton. Wow, it is easy. <laughs> Now I can have milk every day. Okay.
Doida, doida, isso é. Official, there are no good movies. So let's go to a bad one and make out. <laughs> okay. Oh. Perhaps you would like me to turn like this so you can bunny bump against my back. Hey. Oh, I still have hey, that. What's up? Maybe you can tell me. My agent would buy I didn't show up at the audition I didn't know I had today. How could you not give me the message? Uh, I'll tell you, I do enjoy guilt. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. It was him. Uh-huh. Okay, uh -oh. it was me. Was it you? Well, it was just, it was all so crazy, you know? I mean, Chandler was in the closet counting to ten, and he was up to seven, and I hadn't found a place to hide yet. I, I meant to tell you, and I wrote it all down on my hand. See? All of it. Can't read it now. Yep, that's my audition. Yeah. Now, this is why I keep notepads every... Yep, and that's why we don't invite you to play. <laughs> <laughs> what is the great tragedy here? You, you go get yourself another appointment. Well, Estelle tried, you know? The director told her I missed my chance. Well, that is unfair. I'll call her. I'll tell her it was told. She, she can't do that. The casting director doesn't talk to friends. What a sad little life she must lead. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> what are you doing? No, 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 I know, I know. Ooh. Hi, this is Caitlin from Phoebe Buffet's office. Phoebe Buffet's office. Phoebe, she'll know what it's about. <laughs> hang up, hang up, right? Hot. Listen, we've got a problem with Joey Tribbiani. Apparently, he missed his audition. Who did you speak to in my office? Del? No, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. No. All right, so your husband leaves you and then burns down the apartment. The world does not stop. Is anybody else scared? <laughs> Right. Well, look, if Joey loses this audition, then that is it for Estelle. I don't care. Annie, you are a doll. What time can you see him? I need a pad. Get the woman a pad. Get the woman a pad. A pad. Now you want a pad. <laughs> man, it's been a minute. Boy, it's been. Here's my boy. Here's his Barbie. No. What's my boy doing with the Barbie? Picked it out at the toy store himself. He loves it. It's like a security blanket. Boots and a kicky beret. Security blanket. Come on now. It's cute. Why, why, why does he have it again? So it's got a doll. So what? Unless you're afraid he's going to grow up to be. Do the fact he's been raised by two women, would it? Oh. You know what? It's fine. If you're okay with the Barbie thing, so am I. Give daddy the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know, as a father would allow my child to play with Barbie, I don't think so. I mean, my, my boy to play with Barbie, I don't think so. I just don't, don't think so. I guess I'm one of those Ross in your life, people. I don't know. It's, I, no, I'm not, not even I don't know. It's not going to happen, you know what I mean? Ross, you are so pathetic. Why can't your son just play with his doll? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't purchase this one. <laughs> I gotta go to work. What the hell? Has anybody seen my left boob? I love that movie. There's no movie, idiot, is it? It is. Joey, what are you doing? Joe, Joe, answer the phone. Hey, I only got one good arm, you know? You should be doing stuff for me. Go get me a sweater. <laughs> Do it, okay? It's Janice, and if I get it, I'm gonna have to see her tonight. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna have to see her tonight. What's the big deal? Why don't you want to see Janice? Uh oh. Okay. Last when the meals came, she put half her chicken piccata on my plate, all my tomatoes. <laughs> Just because of that? And that's bad because you hate chicken piccata? You didn't want to share your tomatoes. Tomatoes are very important to you. <laughs> Sudden, we were this couple, okay? And this alarm started my head, you know? Run for your life! Get out of the building! <laughs> Men are unbelievable. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna say something stupid. I mean like where you act all mean and distant until you get us to break up with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know about that? <laughs> wake up, bro. I don't want to be afraid of the commitment thing. Go through the tunnel to the other side. No fear of commitment. <laughs> I still look at the moves, huh? Do we have any thoughts here? Well, I've never been through the tunnel myself, because as I understand it, you're not allowed to go through with more than one girl in the car, right? <laughs> But it, it seems to me it's pretty much like anything else, you know? Face your fear. Yeah. You have a fear of heights? You go to the top of the building. That's true. You're afraid of bugs? Get a bug. <laughs> He's afraid of the bugs by himself. So I say, you go in there and you be the most committed guy there ever was. Amazingly, that makes sense. Oh yeah, go for it, man. 
Stare down the barrel of the gun. Pee into the wind. What the hell? I don't know the last one. Man. Sure, if I'm staring down the barrel of a gun, I'm going to be pretty much peeing every which way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's your audition from this morning. Oh, oh, can I use the phone again? Sure, babes, you know, that's what it's there for. Emergencies and uh, pretend agents. <laughs> that's one. Hi, I have Phoebe Buffay returning a page. Okay, well, um, she's in her car. I'll have to patch you through. Okay, go ahead. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, oh, um, <clears throat> hi, Annie. Fantastic. You got it. Oh, you got it. oh okay, um. Will he work for scale, you ask me? Well, I don't know about that. <coughs> Except that I do and he will. Right. Oh, you are such a sweetheart. I would love to have lunch with you. How about we have lunch next? Oop, went through a tunnel. My door is coming. It was really fun. I mean, I've never talked on a car phone before. Could you do me this huge favor? See, there's this one other audition that I really, really want, and Estelle couldn't get me in. One more. Well, actually, it's two. Really, it's three. Please, you're so good at it. I'll do it. But just these three, right? No, it's four. Because I wanted to uh, give give you this. Oh. Yes, baby. You are my door. I'm coming. Contact paper. <laughs> you never really know what to say when someone you're sleeping with gives you contact paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there, there's more. See, the contact paper is to go in your brand new drawer. The drawer what are we doing goes this? in my dresser. You didn't have to do this. Yes, I did, because you're my girlfriend, and that's what girlfriends should, should get. Well, I gotta buy a vowel. But that's what's happened, and, uh, and, and there's more. Uh-oh, don't ask it tomorrow. You should? Yep, we're a couple, and that's uh, what couples do. And I want to meet your parents. What we should that? take a trip with <laughs> 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 think we need to because you're tripping me out right now. Cool. He's tripping himself. Are you okay? No, I am. I actually am. I mean, this is amazing. My entire life, I have feared this place. And now that I'm here, it's like, <laughs> what was the big deal? I'd probably say, let's move in together. And uh -oh. I'd be okay. All right. Uh, want us to move in together? Probably. <laughs> Doesn't scare me. Yeah, well, it scares me. I haven't divorced yet. Chandler, you know, you just invited me over here for pasta, and all of a sudden you're, like, being in together. I wasn't even that hungry. It's getting really late, and uh -oh. I should just, um... She's freaking out. Oh, no, no, go. I've said too much. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. <laughs> it works. Hey, Janice, it's me. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to apologize in advance for having chased you down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, honey. This will help. I finally catch up to her, and she says this relationship's going too fast, and we have to slow down. Ugh. Never good. And then I got all needy and clingy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it's not so bad. How did you leave it? She said she'd call me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a dump. Oh. God. Oh. Welcome to our side of the tunnel. Oh. His ice cream tastes like crap, but. <laughs> that low cal non dairy soy milk junk. We sort of we save the real stuff for the truly terminal. Case. You start getting screwed over all the time. You gotta switch to low fat. Yeah. You don't think I'm terminal? No, not at all. You're not terminal. You just we just need some damage control. So should I call her? No. no. Critical time right now. If you feel yourself reaching for that phone, you go shoe shopping, bubble bath. If you want her back, you have got to start acting aloof. So what yeah. you have to do is you have to accidentally run into her on purpose. Aloof. So I'm, I'm not gonna lose her? Oh, honey, you're not a total loser. A total. So therefore, it's true, a loser. Said, so I'm not gonna lose her? Oh. Yeah, that's if you want a relationship with her. Here, it's the toughest guy in Toyland, Ben. American hero, I'm G.I. Joe. Drop. You really think he's gonna fall for that? G.I. <laughs> Joe? Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's a toy that protects U.S. oil interests overseas. Go, Joe! Oh, oh. Phoebe, there you are. Wait, wait, Phoebe. Oh, Joey! Oh, okay. See, I didn't, I didn't recognize you. We're in those pants. Huh? Listen, that TV movie I went in for, did you hear anything? I think I got a shot at it. Yes, they called. You didn't get it. Okay, I mean, you didn't get it. I'm sorry. They shouldn't happen. You know what? You're, you're in a terrible, terrible business. Oh, God, I don't want to be the person who makes your face look like that. Oh, sorry, I quit, okay? No, I quit. no, no, you can't quit. You're the best agent I ever had. 
Rejection is part of being an actor. You can't take yeah. it personal. Not at an Italian actor with a worse Italian accent. You actually said that? Oh, God, there's that face again. See, I can't do this. Oh, no, see, th this is why you have to do this job. You know, Estelle just said stuff like, they went another way. Yes, I can use this. I can work on a you accente. That's true. Okay, no, if it helps you, okay. Yeah. You'll never get me, Joe! <laughs> 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 My timing won't get. Oh no. No, thank you. Hello, Janice. What are you doing here? Uh, just a bit of shopping. How have you been? Was so always your shopping cart? Being British? Not anymore. Why are you shopping here? You don't live in this neighborhood. Were you here waiting for me? <laughs> yeah, huh? Picking up some things for a party. What kind of a party serves barley? Hmm. Sorry if my friends aren't as sophisticated as yours. Whose party is it? A woman's. What woman? Chelsea. <laughs> really? Okay, you know, one of two things is happening here. Either you're seeing some back, which would make you the biggest jerk on the planet, or else you're pretending that you're seeing somebody, which just makes you so pathetic, I could just start crying right here in the cereal aisle. What size do you want to be? For them is bad. Can I be that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Rejections, lots of stuff to work on. Okay, shoot. Okay, um, oh, the zoo commercial. No, they said that you weren't believable as a human being. What? Got that. What else? Um, the off-Broadway play people said that you were pretty but dumb. Oh. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, <laughs> pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, 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 really. I really appreciate this, Phoebes, but I think I'm gonna have to go back to Estelle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, don't get me wrong. You're a better agent than she is, but blow my pretty dumb brains out. I understand. You do? Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, so you changed your mind now? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Did you just make all that stuff up to get out of being my agent? Yep. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> I am so busted. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I suspected. I guess, you know. It's good. Ah. Threw the bag of barley at her and ran out of the store. God, Chandler, we said be aloof, not a doof. I've actually ruined this, haven't I? Yep. It's time for the good ice cream now, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it for the for ice cream? That's it? Everything's gonna be okay. Hi, Janice. Can you hold on for a second? Okay, what do I do? President, if we ever did what you did, a man would never call. Yep. Hello. Oh, okay, you know. Woke <laughs> up, okay? That'll yeah. throw her off. Totally. Be sleepy. Yes, and grumpy. What do you. Stop naming dwarfs. Hi, I'm so glad that you called. I know I've been acting really weird lately, and it's just because I'm crazy about you. Stupid and scared and, and, and stupid a couple more times. Yep. And I'm sorry. <laughs> really? He's so lucky. If Janice were a guy, she'd be sleeping with somebody else by now. Yeah. I love you too. So unfair. <laughs> Life is unfair, man. There's, there's different rules. G.I. Joe. Hey, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's the doll he chose. What'd you do? Dip it in sugar? Joe's in, Barbie's out. So that, that's just your too bad. What are you being such a weenie for? So he's a Barbie, big deal. It's a big deal. To dress up like a woman. <laughs> what? To dress up in mom's clothes all the time. What are you talking about? The big hat, the pearls, the little pink handbag. Okay. How can you not remember? You made us call you B. Oh. Wow, Ross. I've literally never been this happy. Is there a little song? Oh, please, God, let there be a song. <laughs> I am B. B. Okay. I am <laughs> Won't you? Less sisters. Won't you? Won't you dance around with me? <laughs> I hope my sister ain't watching this. I hope she ain't got no story about me. You know what I mean? No, bro. Won't you go around? No. Wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Ross. You lay us down, man. You lay us down, Ross. <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. That's why. Thank you, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know. So, as a boy in the Africa homes, you fall down, which is wrong, by the way. You fall down there until you get up. Stop being a girl or stop being a uh, wuss or feeling like that. We just have to grow up. We grew up with a tough love, man. Because of that, I had to adjust, readjust my parenthood. You know what I mean? I remember once, one time when my son fought down, my firstborn, I did the same thing and I had to apologize to my son for it because we should not let boys to think crying is bad. Crying is good. That's a more that's why you deal with your emotion. You have to deal with your emotion. Emotion intelligent is very good. Obviously, you learn as you grow, isn't it? Not everything your parents or not everything surround your cultures is a good thing. Or even a bad thing. It's just said uh, you pick what you agree on, you pick and you left the other stuff. You know what I mean? That's just normal. Anyway, that's my culture. You told me what is what was when you growing up as a little girl but that that surrounds your culture you're like you you you're like now you're like oh no i don't i don't believe in that you know what i mean my daughter's calling me. i'm coming i'm coming baby that's my daughter in the meantime guys do take care and we'll see you soon let me go see my little my little daughter yeah have a good sunday peace